Israeli forces in Gaza killed Hamas top leader Yehya Sinwar, a chief architect of last year's attack on Israel that sparked the war, the military said Thursday. Troops appeared to have run across him in a battle, only to discover afterwards that a body in the rubble was the man Israel has hunted for more than a year. Sinwar has topped Israel's most wanted list since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war just over a year ago, and his killing strikes a powerful blow to the militant group. There was no immediate confirmation from Hamas of his death. The military confirmed Sinwar's death after conducting DNA tests on a body it said was among three militants killed Wednesday during operations in Gaza. Foreign Minister Israel Katz called Sinwar's killing a military and moral achievement for the Israeli army, saying it would create the possibility to immediately release the hostages. Defense Minister Yov Gallant addressed Hamas fighters, saying it is time to go out, release the hostages, raise your hands, surrender. Sinwar was one of the chief architects of Hamas' attack on Israel on October 7, 2023, and Israel has vowed to kill him since the beginning of its retaliatory campaign in Gaza. He has been Hamas' top leader inside the Gaza Strip for years. An Israeli security official said it appeared that the man who turned out to be Sinwar was killed in a battle, not in a planned targeted airstrike. Photos circulating online showed the body of a man resembling Sinwar with a gaping head wound, dressed in a military-style vest, half buried in the rubble of a destroyed building. The security official confirmed the photos were taken by Israeli security officials at the scene. The Israeli news site N12 said Sinwar appears to have been killed by chance in a battle on Wednesday. Sinwar was imprisoned by Israel from the late 1980s until 2011, and during that time he underwent treatment for brain cancer, leaving Israeli authorities with extensive medical records. President Joe Biden has been briefed on Israel's investigation into whether it killed Sinwar. Sinwar was chosen as Hamas's top leader in July after his predecessor, Ismail Haniyeh, was assassinated in an apparent Israeli strike in the Iranian capital Tehran. Israel has also claimed to have killed the head of Hamas military wing Mohammed Deif in an airstrike, but the group has said he survived. U.S. long-range B-2 stealth bombers launched airstrikes early Thursday morning targeting underground bunkers used by Yemen's Houthi rebels, officials said. It wasn't immediately clear what damage was done in the strikes. However, there are no previous reports of the B-2 spirit being used in the strikes targeting the Houthis, who have been attacking ships for months in the Red Sea corridor over the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip. According to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, strikes were carried out on five fortified underground facilities. He added that the attack was executed using B-2 bombers, sending a message to terrorists. This was a unique demonstration of the U.S. ability to target facilities that our adversaries seek to keep out of reach, no matter how deeply buried underground, hardened, or fortified, Austin stated. The Houthi group in Yemen is supported by Iran. Along with the Palestinian Hamas and Lebanese Hezbollah, the Yemeni militants are part of the so-called axis of resistance against the U.S. and the collective West. Following Israel's military operation against Hamas in October 2023, the Houthis began attacking commercial vessels associated with Western carriers in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. In response, the U.S. and Israel have repeatedly struck Houthi terrorist targets in Yemen, but allies have yet to halt their attacks.